What's up guys, it's YouTube Fire Alarm 9200 and it looks like it's time for System Test 7. Alright, so I've changed every device on the 4005 except for one, and that is the strobe in the closet. It's, yet again, still the 4904, but everything else is different, including the smoke detectors. For first stop, for the smoke above the panel, I got my system sensor 2400TH. It's been a while since you guys have seen this on the system. And the pulse station is a local alarm Honeywell S464A. And this one was actually original to the 4005, believe it or not. It came off of the system when it, um, when it was still installed. And I never showed them till now. And the 4005 is normal. So I changed the UHN out for the Wheelock 7002T. This one I got brand new in box and it works great. I got it on the trim plate and the back box. And this detector over here I finally changed, um, well really I only changed the head because they can use the same base if they wanted to. Here's the old 2098-9201 right here. And over here I've got the Simplex 2098-9642. And this is my second one. I was going to put my other one up here but the LED stopped working on it. It still works, it's just the LED doesn't work. So I got another one, it just arrived today and it works great. So, I have both smoke and heat combos now. In fact, thatights what the entire system has, including the 5808s. They're all smoke and heat combos. So over here, I've got another S464A, except this one is the non-local alarm version. Um, and this also came off of the 4005. It's kind of beat up, too. And I have my Spectronics rebranded 7002T. Yet again, on the back box and the trim plate. It works great. So, so we're actually going to start it off by testing the 9642. So I normally don't start it off with testing smoke detectors, but if you've watched X Skater 114, you'll understand why I'm doing it. So here we go. And of course, the system is set on continuous. I will not be doing any other coding option, unless requested. And... So yeah, that is pretty loud, and I don't know what happened to my um, my compressed here, so I'm actually going to blow it out with the shirt. Hopefully it doesn't reactivate, and we're going to pull this pull station.
up. Come on. Doesn't usually fight me when I So now I'm actually gonna do the same thing with the 2400 TH. with me so that's why it's now the Honeywell S464A out here Reset now, and I'm gonna go and test the heat part. And I forgot to reset the pulse station out there, so let's do that really quick. Oops, there we go. Hopefully, I did it before it aborted, and I did. test the heat parts this could scare me because the leds don't turn on after the heat sensor heat sensor trips for some odd reason i don't know why that is huh. all right this time it should work so quite loud so <laughs> the LED didn't even kick on for this at all so now we're gonna do the same thing to the 2400 TH
quite loud, actually. So one thing I'm curious about, actually, is I'm wondering if I spray in between the tube, if the duct will sound. Never tried it before. I'm curious, because really that detector is only there just because I wanted to put one on. It really doesn't serve much of a purpose. But I would like to see if it'll sound. Which means I'm likely going to have to air it out afterwards, but I'll try it. Nope. Won't work like that. But what I will do So, that's probably aired out now, so we can probably actually reset for the final time. And that's the system. Ask any questions you got. <laughs>